Welcome back, folks, to Advocation X and your host, Clyde. Just taking a little stroll in one of my favorite spots, and I realized that lately, much of us don't really know what's going on with a certain little company that could. So I want to give you all a little more information than you may have at this point. Before I begin, though, hit the like button, subscribe, become a member, crush the bell. Don't miss anything coming your way. Now, let me get on to our subject at hand. The little company that could, we know, is Tesla. So what's going on with Tesla? Why am I right now bringing up this tepid topic, which I have been embarking on for hmm, about a year and a half now? We all know that Tesla is the epitome of perfection when it comes to electric vehicles and software to run those vehicles. We call them a computer on wheels. Not necessarily a car operated by a computer, but a computer on wheels. So, if we can agree on that, whether you like Tesla or not, let's just venture to find some common ground. So once we look at that objectively and we say, so why would anybody want to crush Tesla? Since it's doing such a great job for the environment, it's doing a fantastic job for everyone who gets a chance to own one, why is there a concerted effort to kill Tesla? I'll give you three guesses and the first two don't count. Corporate interests. They're attacking Tesla in the dealership front. Nope, we don't want you to be able to sell in our state. We don't want you to do over-the-air updates. We don't want you to do this. We don't want you to do that. We do not want people charging their vehicles based on solar energy coming off of their roofs. You have to pay for that. Folks, understand, when it comes to corporate interests, there are no boundaries. Now, if you think I'm just talking from a, a lack of understanding, I've been in the corporate world since I was about 18 years old. And I know, oh, tons of benefits being in the corporate world. But I can tell you right now, when you start to look back on your years in the corporate world, you start to know that we were taking advantage of people. And the people we were taking advantage of were you. The people who work hard every single day, every week, to make ends meet. And you pay your taxes. And what do we do? We rob your taxes with corporate write-offs, corporate power. We do everything we want while you sit there and work your asses off so we don't have to. When you think about this objectively and you see the corporate powers are trying to crush Tesla, it's up to you all to stand up and say enough is enough. The same as they tried to crush the freedoms of the people who now live in what we'll call China, duh. you have to help us by saying enough is enough. It has to stop. When is it going to stop? When are they going to stop harassing Tesla? Lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit. Challenge after challenge after challenge. Government agencies slow down after slow down after slow down. I can promise you this, folks. In the next U.S. election, I don't see a scenario where the Democrats win. I see in 2022 the Democrats losing control of the House. I see in 2024 the Democrats losing control of the White House. When that happens, folks, what will you say then if they go 100% in the opposite direction to a point where it's now affecting your life directly? Are you going to stand up then and speak up for others? who are also losing their freedoms? Or will you just sit back and say, oh well, it's what they want. We'll just do what they want. Just do it. It's coming. Understand, it is coming and it's coming fast. And when it hits you, it'll be like a ton of bricks. Now that you know where I'm coming from, if you still imagine that you're going to stand by and allow these corporate shills to take control of everything in your world without a regard for your life, your safety, and your happiness, well, I'm sorry to say, it's not going to be a very blessed future for you, for me, or for anyone else. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for your rights. Stand up for Tesla. Stand up for those who are trying to do a good thing. 
They couldn't crush the company as it was building, and they tried. Believe me, they tried. The corporate entities all around the United States of America did everything they could to stop them. The oil companies, the car companies, the unions, the, even the President of the United States. It's time for people to start standing up for each other, stop being divided, work on each other's behalf, and make things work. That's my message to you today. And again, what I'd like to say is, we never give up. We never give in. But we keep an open mind because knowledge is our power. And in order for us to succeed in any decision making, we need that power. So, stay safe, stay healthy, and beyond all, stay as healthy and happy as humanly possible.